This is our walk on the boardwalk. So much light we've got. Cell phone light. Welcome to St. Lucia Experience, recorded here on St. Lucia Beaches by Petrus Vivius and his favorite beach partet. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, it's Petrus and Pardet with your morning beach walk. But it's very dark and there's awkward sounds going about. I'm not that happy to go <laughs> onto the beach yet. Look. That's supposed to be the sunrise. But there's no light in that sunrise yet. It's dark here on the beach and it's just me and Pardet. We have arrived safely at the mouth and Pardet is lying down. She's so sweet this morning. Look at that. One thing about fishing in St. Lucia, you must be ready, you must be here every day and you must be prepared to spend the time on the beach. Look at this beautiful, okay, let's talk about the mud first. Now let's talk about the fishing conditions. Look at this beautiful conditions for fishing here. It's absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Right up until the turn over there. You will find no reeds here and you'll find a lot of perch and you might even find some uh, I was gonna say bubble. Yes, bubble do come out. But there might even be some grunter. Right, from tomorrow I'm gonna try and make more theme videos on the beach walk. Gonna dissect the minister's report and discuss it as I walk on the beach with Pardet and do some um, biodiversity as a theme and do recreational fishing, commercial fishing, all those I'm gonna break down in themes. So the videos become a little bit more evergreen and not just daily storytelling videos anymore. We're still going to cover the beach so that you guys can see the changes, but it's going to be more of theme based. This is about 150 meters south of Ingwe Beach. Still basically Ingwe Beach. Beautiful gully with a rip current. It means the sidewash is not going to kill you. You can fish on this northern side of the gully or you can fish inside the gully I don't see any debris floating around and I see the color is beautiful it's not blue but it's not ginger either and there's nobody fishing hey guys what can I say that's the previous gully that we stopped at that's Ingwe Beach access you can see it's still very much part of Ingwe Beach. Then another 60-70 meters south, there's this beautiful channel. If you fish here with a short steel wire, no float, no sinker, on a 6 to a 9 foot rod, drifting your sardine bait or your chocker, a long piece of chocker will be 100% here. Drifting it along this is the gully yeah oh this channel yeah man oh man you'll be surprised of what fish is still available in St. Lucia to catch. It's all techniques that died down. Um, people become lazy, they just want to cast it, it's been that for many years. Um, they come, they sit on the beach, nobody catch fish, they go home, there's no fish. I see the average time that the angler now spend on the beach is about two and a half to three hours. Guys, if you really want to fish, you'll spend your eight, nine hours on the beach like you do at your job. 
You can only be successful if you put the hours in. There's no quickie when it comes to fishing. There's the previous gully. This is the channel running into the next gully. Oh, look how beautiful that ocean is. Running into the next gully. What beautiful fishing conditions is this? You, I'm awestruck. And there's a nice rip current there, so the sidewash is pushing into the gully from both sides. If you stand in the middle of the gully, the sidewash won't affect you. It's absolutely fantastic. And then guys, out of this beautiful gully, well, look at that lovely sunrise. There's another channel running south. Well, it's actually pushing north, but it's from my, our perspective now, it's going south towards the estuary mouth. Look at this beautiful channel. And Bardet was a good girl. She's going to get liver today. Yes. Yes, Umiri Pardet is getting livers today, like the day before yesterday. She didn't get livers yesterday. Daddy was too busy. But today she's getting livers. Yeah. Hunner leverkies. Christy van Montemzini, baie dankie vir jou en jou vrou sy ondersteuning om die Extreme Biting Video kanaal moendlik te maak. Dit is great. Ons doen vandag die tweede dag van die Kuta Classic in Montemzini sy videos. Um, Christy is baie, baie ondersteunend. En dan to all the guys that contributed this month, thank you very much. It was a very difficult month for me. I had vehicle breakdowns, I had um, leaks to fix that strand looper, and um, the house in Riches Bay, a precast wall fell over. And you don't, guys don't know what it meant. When you support it, um, there is Neville and there is Sean and Sean and Anton and I can't remember all the names guys. You know who you are and you know that I'm very grateful. Thank you very much. Today I have saved enough from the donations to be able to buy two decent batteries for the camera so that um, I won't be stuck in a big competition again because remember the channel has got two of these 530 HS's and now between the two cameras there's going to be six batteries three batteries on the camera so the next big competition we will be able to video so this is why I'm so grateful for all the support that I get. Every time there's a hurdle in my life and I open the bank account and I see, wow, this hurdle is just another obstacle. This obstacle is just another hurdle. Then I think by myself, it's worthwhile getting up every morning making these videos. Thank you guys. Oh, but that was a good girl today, Daddy. She got in the back of the buck in the canopy without me having to force her in. I just asked her to get up and she jumped in like a young, fit girl. And we've been walking on the beach and we've been videoing the gullies. Oh, she's such a good girl. How about that? Is she my gully girl? Just got a, yeah, at the tidal channel, just got another battery error, but um, that was a lens mistake. But yeah, as I said in previous videos, the tidal channel is not functioning, so there's no uh, a great harvesting of tidal energy uh, at the tidal channel. So um, it would be nice. But let them 
if we have more of these tidal channels to help with the scouring effect and I hope that the management team that the minister has but with this body of scientists, panel of scientists that the minister has appointed now to help um, authority with the management plan take the scouring, the power of the scouring effect into consideration and create the opportunity for nature to harvest the tidal energy so that we can get rid of this mud on a pretty much natural basis there is going to be some ag mechanical agitation in Egypt and um, yeah, the sooner we can create that agitation the better because the water is running out of the estuary at a, at a great speed and uh, the mud is not going with the mud is pretty much solidified and the water just runs over it Just let you guys enjoy the ambience. Hi guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please click on the photo of me and Pardet and you'll be subscribed. It's absolutely for free. YouTube don't charge you a cent. That you, I don't charge you a cent. Everything is for free if you subscribe. It will help sustain me and Pardet in St. Lucia and improve our quality of life. Thank you.